<laughs> like her ancestors before her, Emirishi astronaut Nora Almatrushi has spent much of her life gazing up at the stars and dreaming of flying to the moon. This week, she became the first Arab woman to graduate from NASA's training program, ready to blast off into the cosmos. Almatrushi, 31, was one of two astronaut candidates chosen by the United Arab Emirates Space Agency in 2021 to enroll in a training program with the U.S. Space Agency NASA. I want to push humanity further than it's ever been before. I want humanity to go back to the moon, and I want humanity to go further beyond the moon. She shares. She's passionate. She's fearless. She's always pushing boundaries and elevating the team. Nora, it's been a blast training with you. I look forward to our next adventure off planet. Please welcome astronaut Nora Almatrushi. All right. Great round of applause. Fantastic. We've got really smart, capable, uh, and some of the most fun humans that I've ever been around. Who wants to go to the moon? It's me. Hi. I'm the problem. It's me. And I'm joining. <laughs> Who's the go? The go fly. I think the greatest fly of all time is Marcos. He's his office mate. <laughs> Marcos. 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 It is extremely important in space flight. Because once you go up to space, the people you travel with are your family, they are your support system. I think becoming an astronaut is hard regardless of what your religion or what your background is. So I don't think being a Muslim made it harder. Um, but being a Muslim made me aware of the contributions of my ancestors, of the Muslim scholars and scientists that came before me that uh, were studying the stars. And me becoming an astronaut is just building on that legacy of what they started a thousand, thousand years ago. NASA has been very accommodating to um, any requirements that we have. Uh, during Ramadan, Muslims fast typically from uh, sunrise to sunset, and um, they've been accommodating of that. Like uh, any type of extremely rigorous training that requires a lot of physical effort was um, either pushed earlier in the day or was postponed to after Ramadan. The material that goes into the EMU suit, it has to be very specific material. So they, the suit engineers ended up sewing a makeshift hijab for me to wear. Uh, I could put it on, get into the suit, and then put on the comp cap and then take it off and my hair would be covered. So I really, really appreciate them doing that for me. I want to push humanity further than it's ever been before. I want humanity to go back to the moon, and I want humanity to go further beyond the moon. And I want to be part of that journey. The training was tough. I'm really proud of her that she finished all the training with us as one team. Uh, that's a really powerful message for all Emirati women. Is you, you got like they are capable of doing even uh, one of the hardest job in the world to be an ass or not. So that's also for the future. We are living now for our next Artemis generation, but a lot of UAE astronauts will also follow us and they will be the future for humanity as we did now.